Hello, our, uh, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. We're here at the NVIDIA booth talking to Doug, and he's going to explain a little bit about the K1, the Tegra K1 processor, and just what, what it offers and how it's going to change the mobile Absolutely. So we just announced, the, just introduced the Tegra K1. It comes in uh, two flavors, one of the 32-bit and the second one's the 64-bit version. Uh, what we're showing on the show floor is the 32-bit version. Uh, we want to demonstrate some of the, the cool games that, uh, that are, it's capable of running. Uh, right here we're uh, showing an example of Trine 2, this is a, uh, a, a, a PC game, and it's running now uh, on, there we go, run through. The graphics are gorgeous, you got global illumination, uh, 192 core uh, Kepler GPU, it really brings lots of processing power and also uh, major API support for, uh, for, for PC and console games. In fact, it, 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 it runs, uh, supports DX11, OpenGL 4.4, uh, really and it opens up a whole world of opportunities for, for game developers. Bring next, you know, bring, you know, uh, nothing we've ever had on mobile. Absolutely, absolutely not. I mean, this is, this is one, one good example. Yeah. Um, another example of kind of a technology demo that's not really a game, but is, uh, is our FaceWorks demo. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's a different aspect. And this is, uh, that looks like a video. Uh, it's actually not, this is live. This is being rendered on the fly um, with the uh, with the support, the graphic support we've got. We've got we do uh, really good uh, subsurface scattering because of it, so the light reflects properly off the skin. Uh, if we change some of the lighting environments, you'll notice that the shadows change. They're all dynamic. Notice how the light coming from behind you can see shining through, shining through his ear there. Um, changing the lights a little bit. Uh, the details are look very sharp on it as well. Yeah, it's a little bit. Look at. current generation of, of, of gaming rendering that you see today. And uh, on this, on the left hand side, the right hand side, you see what, what uh, cap was capable of K1. Just the difference, just so much more in depth. It goes from, from being uh, really kind of a weird, eerie kind of a feel to be yeah. photorealistic. Yeah, no, definitely. It's like, you know, PS1 versus PS4 are basically on here. It's really impressive. Right. So, so that's our face work set. Got it, got it. Yeah, really nice. I mean, definitely look forward to seeing what K1 will bring to the mobile environment, really. It just, it's really on par, I mean, in my opinion, at least with the next-gen consoles right now, it's in terms of how well it's performing. And this is, you know, this technology is something, uh, tell us about how K1 uh, came about, because the word K1 is because it was from... Uh, from Kepler. Right? Yeah, so, exactly. so Tegra, the, uh, as we looked at what the, the product name would be, I mean, the, the logical thing that people were expecting was Tegra 5, right? So we looked at 4 to 5, just didn't seem like a big enough leap in you know, to, to describe really how, how awesome you know the, the Tegra chip was, so we call it the K1 first generation uh, chip, uh, the Kepler architecture. Basically, has 192 core Kepler GPU. Yes. They're all uh, uh, compute uh, parallel computing enabled uh, GPU, so you can use the, the uh, that for beyond graphics. You can actually do compute stuff as well. Um, <laughs> Tegra comes uh, the K1 comes in two flavors. It comes in 32-bit, uh, 64-bit. The 32-bit is Quad A15s. Uh, uh, with a fifth battery saver core, shadow core, that's uh, also an A15. And then the 64 bit is our own Denver architecture that we've been talking about yeah, for a couple minutes. So, so it's a dual core 64 bit um, chip. So we'll see uh, in terms of when you can get your hands on it and actually play. Yeah, uh, 32 bits, which is the big, end, big question. Uh -huh. The 32 bit version will be in devices, in production, consumer devices, uh, by Q2 of this year. Like Q2. The 64 bit version will be in consumer devices in uh, the second half. Before the end of the year, we should have both on some really nice mobile devices. Thank you, Doug. It's been a pleasure. pleasure. And this has been R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy.